What is up YouTube? This is FreshCase23 checking in once again with another video. Now this video is a little bit different. I've never unboxed this shoe, this type of shoe before and I could probably argue this is my first designer shoe that I've got. And as you guys can see on the box, you have that Y3 Adidas Yoji Yamamoto. So you, this shoe right here is a Y3 Pure Boost ZG knit made famous by Jerry Lorenzo. This isn't the black colorway that he wore this is actually the white version that came out recently so as you guys can see in the box UK 11 US 11 and a half retailed for 219 pounds in the UK it retailed for $320 in the US so I actually did not pay this much and I'll tell you guys why so let's get into the shoe here is a shoe and I actually bought this shoe worn one time for a very good deal uh, just uh, show you guys the other pair so you guys could decide if this was a steel deal or not. Also, beside the shoe, this comes with two different dust bags. One for each shoe, which is another great touch. That's what happens when you buy designer shoes. It comes also with an extra set of laces, as you guys can see here. They're actually the same laces. Or the, yeah, same laces, just another set. And then you have the Y3 tag right here it's really dope how it came with all that extra stuff so I'll put this aside and then I'll get into the shoe so this shoe right here is a very dope shoe because it is a boost shoe of course so it's definitely comfortable and it's also a Y3 which is a designer slash uh, athleisure brand so it basically an all white upper with actually a 3M hints this shoe does have 3M hands with another touch which makes it really nice you have the white laces and you actually have a split tongue which is really like different something you don't see every day it's kind of hard to wear it because of the split tongue but you can figure it out there's just a lot you can do with this shoe right here he also has the white back tabs on here and then Yoji Yamamoto coming down on the three stripes the tongue is actually leather and the inside tongue right here is suede. The inside lining is also leather and then you have another touch of suede right here that's gray. And this shoe does not come with an insole like a, a lot of other boost shoes such as the NMDs. So you guys can see right there it just says pure boost on there. I would probably put in an insole because it will make it more comfortable. Same thing I do with uh, NMDs, put insoles in and you guys won't regret it. So I bought the shoe worn one time for $200, which is $120 less than retail, which is a lot. So for that price, I think the shoe is worth it. If you guys are thinking to cop, $320 is kind of a steep price. So if you guys have the money, go ahead and cop. But I know not everyone does. So always look to see if you find any good deals such as I did here. And maybe it'll come up. The only flaw was like dirty bottoms. But it'll get dirty anyways from wear the top is completely clean which is really dope and this shoe is just like a nice shoe to have one of the better Y3 models I really like the Y3 Kaza highs as well but it's very hard to pull off because it's a very strange looking shoe so comment down below if you guys think this was a steal a deal or just not so uh, if you guys are interested to see an on feet, make sure to leave the five likes on this video and I'll put an on feet for you guys. So that's pretty much it for this shoe. If you guys like um, designer shoe videos, comment down below. I might get common projects in the future, just not now because I don't have the money for that and I plan to pay less than retail just like I did with these. So thank you guys for watching. This is Fresh Kicks 23 and we're out. Erica Kane, Erica Kane, Erica Kane, Erica Kane, I'm sending you niggas, I'm sending you niggas, I'm Erica Kane.